Warning, most if not all of the information you'll see in this video will be completely wrong, so don't take it too seriously, this is a video meant just as a joke, and as a little before video bonus or whatever, um, my hair is dyed blue. So, this is after the video was taken, um, during editing I noticed we still had to edit the words and stuff, so put the words right here, um, yeah, most if not all of the information you will see in this video will be completely wrong, thanks. This is the before video after editing little clip, roll to the video, um, few notes, um, most of the information bef except for the release date is correct. Um, and we got a bunch of more GoPro stuff for my camera. So the camera that was used for the ceiling cam was a off-brand GoPro type camera. Um, it's really nice. It's the Akaso Brave 4. I'm not sure how you say it. We have background lights, which we can set to strobe if we want to. Strobe back there. Um, and if we turn off this spotlight, which was mainly for my hair, it looks better. I don't know why my screen's going weird, but... Wow! And we have this little guy. Stand on my hand, buddy. Anything you want to say? Subscribe and leave a like. Roll the video. That, that was completely useless. Roll the video. Hey guys, this is the unboxing of the brand new Nintendo DSi. Came around, came out around a week ago. So, yeah, around 2009. Um, it's pretty nice, and as you could see in the background, we have um, an LED strip light. It looks amazing. It will change color if I set it to strobe. So just strobe like that. Um, yeah, they're pretty nice. Um, this is the Nintendo DSi. Let's just get straight to unboxing it. We have two camera angles. So there. this is your second camera angle. Up here, yeah. If I'm on this camera right now, I'm gonna be so mad. Cause I'm gonna be so mad because I'm gonna look like an idiot looking up at the ceiling. Okay, this is the second camera angle, a roof camera angle. Um, let's just unbox it. Um, quick start guide. That's nice. We don't need it though. The charger and the DSi. This DSi came with two stylus is styluses styluses I don't know. Anyways, it came with this blue one and it came with a pink one which I gave to my brother cuz he doesn't have a stylus for his DSi. Okay. If we power this on Turn up the volume. That surround sound right there. Left and right speaker and somehow just goes perfectly to your ear. Whatever. My hair's a mess. Sorry about that. Um, go over all the apps really quick. Transfer tool for the Nintendo DSi to the 3DS. Um, Basically, it takes everything on here that you got at all and puts it on the 3DS. System settings, all the settings for everything. And I found if you hold down select and use the volume keys, instead of doing the volume, it'll change your brightness, which I prefer mine at 4. Um, let's get some better background image. Um... Look at that background. Doesn't that look good? Okay, turn the light back on. Um, 
download and play. This is useful for when your friend has Mario Kart or something that's multiplayer, but you don't have the card. Some of the games, Mario is one of them, will let you download the game um, temporarily, of course, and then play it, and they'll delete it as soon as it powers off. So basically, they go in, and they start a match, and with Mario Kart, like, we have Mario Kart, and you can have up to eight people that, or seven people, that don't have the card, and then one person has the card, and that's the eighth person, and that's the max amount of people you can have in a party. Um, that audio, though, I don't know if you can hear it, but listen to that. That's not... I rate that 7 out of 10, just because we have a Wii at home, so that music for the home screen and everything is way better. Um, Picto Chat. Um, basically, you go on, and then there's chat rooms, and you can draw, and you can... Um, do a bunch of other stuff. You can type, you can draw. I played a game of, like, Pictionary, where, I think it's Pictionary, where one person draws and then everybody else tries to guess. <sighs> do the best stuff. I didn't get any of it on camera, because why would I? Um, DSi Sound. You can, there's a lot of fun stuff on the DSi. Um, the camera for the DSi, oh yeah, this DSi, well, all DSi's, have two cameras, two megapixel, no, not two, not two full megapixels, point two megapixel cameras, even though it looks kind of like a big camera, it's a point two megapixel, and that's a point two megapixel, everything's point two megapixel, the DSi shop, that closed, well, it will close in 2017. It's 2009. It's not. Anyways, um, yeah, that's all the stuff. Um, volume keys are on the side. I love this blue color, honestly. This blue is so amazing. I hope this is the blue they use on the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. You can't really see it because my light's facing the wrong way for that camera over here. But the 4K or whatever camera should be able to get in 60 freaking frames per second. Um, this came, we bought used, and the person that sold this Nintendo DSi to us used watching this thank you so much this was amazing i saw you bought it for like 40 45 dollars on the ebay receipt which should be in here so thank you um yeah i love this color that's a really nice this is smooth wow um the game cartridge is in the back so Super Mario Bros. pop in the back. The difference between the light and the DSi. Um, the screen size. This has a 0.5 inch, or, yeah, half inch bigger screen. Um, you can move stuff around. This home screen is way more advanced than the DS Lite. And the DS Lite doesn't have cameras which isn't a big downgrade, but it's nice. To switch games on the DS Lite, you have to power off the system, put in the new game, power it back on. This is a DSi, you can just pop it out, pop it back in, done. To go home, you just press the power button, not like a long press, but just click it, and it will, the screen will go white, and then all the 
apps will just fall in like a wave. Look at that. There you go. Um, I think that's it. So, that's it for the Nintendo DSi unbox and review. Um, for its time of 2009, I think it came out, I don't remember. Honestly, I was just making that joke. It's 2019. Um, for its time, that's a really advanced system. I love it. It's still really nice. Um, the DSi shop closed in 2017, though, which is kind of sad. Um... The box was kept in near perfect condition other than a few scratches, a few dents. It matches the color of the DSi inside. I love it. That's amazing. Thank you guys. Oh, my back. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. How do you like the, uh, the light? Let me know in the comments how you like the lights in the background. I don't even know if it didn't even stop recording. Look at these, though. We have, like, a cord up here, though, which is not too bad, but, like, these lights, though. Look at this remote. That's that's a cool remote. Turn it to white so you can see it. Have to point it at it, though. Yeah. Fancy. There you go. Um, I think that's it. So, that's it for the Nintendo DSi unbox and review. Um, for its time of 2009, I think it came out. I don't remember. Honestly, I was just making that joke. It's 2019. Um,. For its time, that's a really advanced system. I love it. It's still really nice. Um, the DSi shop closed in 2017, though, which is kind of sad. Um, the box was kept in near perfect condition, other than a few scratches and a few dents. It matches the color of the DSi inside. I love it. That's amazing. Thank you, guys. Oh, my back. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. How do you like the, uh, the lights? Let me know in the comments how you like the lights in the background. I don't even know if it, it didn't even stop recording. Look at these, though. We have, like, a cord up here, though, which is not too bad, but, like these lights though look at this remote that's that's a cool remote turn it to white so you can see it you have to point it at it though yeah fancy